Just recap the game and uh, we'll have questions for you. Uh, uh, I mean, Wicklander, <laughs> Wicklander Monk and um, Kostu went out there and got us some innings <clears throat> and got us uh, through most of the game pretty well. Um, uh, our offense, <laughs> uh, <laughs> our offense kind of uh, did what it always does and came back or was alive and uh, got us back into the game. Um, I mean, and then I just went in there and uh, trusted my defense and did what I know how to do. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, first question comes from Andrew. Kevin, you came in the game and inherited a you know, runner on, I think a 2-0 count. What, what was your approach there, and, and uh, what, were, what were you throwing to, to be able to get through that inning so quickly? Uh, my, my approach didn't change. Uh, I just pounded the zone with um, cutters and just <coughs> – sorry – and just uh, trusted the results and got through the inning. Y'all didn't get to play Vanderbilt during the regular season. Did, was there any extra excitement or anything going into this game, knowing that that you know it's a team that's ranked really high and, and a team you haven't faced yet? Uh, I think we were excited to play them. I think we're always excited to play every every um, game. I don't think there was much of a different feel, but it was. Um, I don't know. I was excited to play them since we hadn't played them. Just interested, interesting, interested to see how it went. I guess optimistic is a better word. I don't know. <laughs> Bob is next. Hey, hey Kevin. Um, Dave said the, uh, that they were hoping to use you in the eighth and the ninth. You obviously had to come in a little earlier, but you just seemed really efficient with your pitches. I mean, did you feel good about, you know, kind of using the minimum amount of pitches to get the, the maximum amount of outs? <laughs> yeah, I always feel good about that. I felt really good. Um, warming up today and I, I knew that I was going to be ready to extend if they needed me to and I just kind of went out and did that. And Dave said that he doesn't know if they'll use you again or not. Uh, if, if they need you, are you ready for a little more work if needed? Oh, of course. I feel good. And Scott, how good was it to see Goodhart? I mean, you guys are both older players and how, you know he's been going through a rough time at the plate. How good was it to see him and kind of bust out tonight? Awesome. I mean, <clears throat> I think everybody has uh, faith in him that he's uh, going to get through whatever he's getting through. And I mean, he always hits the ball hard. And I mean, I love Goodhart. He's like my brother. We, we, I mean, all these guys are like my brother, but especially him. I mean, we roomed together and got through some times together. So um, it's always good to see him uh, doing well. Knowing him like you do, what is it about his makeup? A lot of guys, they, they're one for 30 or whatever, and they just probably aren't going to come back from that maybe. Uh, recover from it what is it about him that allows him to do that just his obsession and passion for the game I would say like he he's, he doesn't get down on himself he knows and believes in himself and believes on the work that he puts in and uh, like like anyone else that does that um, it'll it'll get them through okay th thanks Kevin got Andrew next yeah, Kevin, you said you you pounded the zone with cutters. You threw thirty pitches tonight. Were how many of those were cutters, and, and did you mix any other pitches in there at all? Um, most of them were cutters. I mixed in a couple curveballs, and that was that was pretty much it. Um, I don't know how many curveballs I threw. I don't even know how many pitches I threw to be honest. But I it's a cutter curveball combination tonight. Appreciate it, Kevin. Do you have any more questions for Kevin? I think we got them all, Kevin. Thank you. Get some rest. Thank you, sir.